brings Daryl Cullen on. That really is a terrific shot from Daryl Cullen. And these outfields here in South Africa certainly do reward the batsmen for fine strokes. And so as soon as he's seen Cullinan come to the wicket, he's brought Wengeris Passat. Things not going quite uh, the captain's way at the moment. Cullinan flicking the ball away for three. Three off the mark. That's a fine shot. Well, Cullen just working that off his pads. And Passat not, not able to get around to stop that boundary. So another good example of the form and the timing that Cullinan has. And that's another magnificent shot for four. Not bad bowling at all, just very good batting. Indeed, uh, most batsmen would have been quite content to defend those found the gap. And look at that. That's vintage Daryl Cullen, and that's a glorious off drive. Splendid stroke. That's what I like about Cullinan, that uh, he doesn't miss opportunities. At that moment he came in, he started playing the stroke from the word go. They get four runs, there's no third man. He was late in playing the shot, but he, he, he played it neatly in the end and got it between second slip and gully and down to third man for four. That's beautifully struck away. It was more of a tired delivery from Surinath and Cullinan having no problem to just dispatch that in front of square for four. And that might just be... Oh, it's out! I was about to say that might be four more and brilliantly caught just in front of square leg because Daryl Cullinan hit that very hard indeed. Pankaj Zarmani who is substituting for the injured Lakshman he was at forward short leg, but he'd been pushed back to square leg. Srinath banging another one in short. This one has been struck right over the middle of the bat. And Pankaj Zermani latching onto it. He's looking at his fingers, but he's done the job. Dial Karan after a brilliant 33 out, 139 for four. 